we're at the first Cornwall wide conference of the Green Party, bringing the West and the Middle East together um, to push, push forward green policies for Cornwall. We've got a variety of fringe workshops where we're concentrating on key issues for Cornwall, such as renewable energy, building stronger communities, better transport. Presumably with an eye towards May's elections. Absolutely, yeah. We're intending to field um, candidates in a certain board where we're stronger and we're going to push harder this time because green issues are more and more important to the electorate. There's a proud tradition of Cornish culture um, looking at Cornish independence but also the role that our town councillors and councils have, has, have had to really build communities for, so, for people and for the environment. There's so much evidence that proves what Greens can do on councils and the difference that actually Greens make in Cornwall. Now in some parts of the country, Brighton for example, the Green Party is quite strongly represented. What difference would it make to Cornwall? So for Cornwall, what we've been seeing at a council level, for example, is Liberal Democrats closing libraries. We've seen impacts on leisure centres and sports centres and Greens a campaign to keep those open. In fact, Brighton's one of the only places in the UK where there are more libraries now than there were 10 years ago. The Green Party can offer more for Cornwall because we are not uh, sent down edicts from Westminster. We will be uh, more at liberty to do things that are beneficial for Cornwall and not things that are beneficial for the southeast of the country.